And so the count unique function, its purpose is to accomplish exactly what we're going to do here, which is just to count the number of unique values. And so the input is a range of values or several ranges of values, and then the output is just a number. All right, so let's go to the example and see how we apply it. So in case you didn't guess it, we're going to use count unique. And in this case, we're going to specify the range of A4 to A8. You could also just type values into the function. So you could do it something like pear, peach, etc. But that's not typically how you're going to use this function, right? You're usually going to use it uh, with one or more ranges. And in this case, it's A4 to A8. Google Sheets is already guessing that for us. So let's take the mouse and just select that by left clicking on it. And you see it's counted a three. So I've already put these green check marks here to indicate which cells are being counted. So I just go one to the left to see which ones are being counted. But the ones that are skipped and not in the total of three are the ones that are duplicates. So you have peach and pear, they're both in this list twice. Let's scroll down, we'll do one more example and then we'll have a little bonus example. So uh, create some tension here. I know you're excited. Let's do another count unique. Just type in count, select count unique. And Sheets, again, is guessing the proper range, but this time this range just has numbers. It doesn't have strings. They're treated differently in Google Sheets. So for example, you could add these numbers if you wanted to, um, but we'll see when we run this function, they work the same in count unique. So it counts two once and three once. We'll do one more bonus example here. I put the same image in three times and then I snuck a thumbnail in here that I know is not the same uh, in row 23. So we'll say count unique. We'll use that data ranges, right? A21 through A24 and we'll hit enter and we get this weird looking number. Uh, but I know that that cell at one point, it looks like it was formatted as a date and even an international date. That's a crazy format. I will grab this format use format painter and change it. And you'll see it's just a one. So this function doesn't work on all data types, right? So I'll link to a video at the end about data types. The first one was a string. The second one was a number. This is just the other data type and it doesn't, it can't tell if these are unique or not. So if you do the type function on these, it returns 128, which is just other and well, it looks like we broke the count unique function. And check out this next video if you want to get a deeper understanding of the different data types available on Google Sheets. It's numbers, it's strings, it's other, and there's a few more too. So I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.